Are you tired of your Amazon home screen looking like this? Well, most of you probably remember Amazon actually blocked the ability to install custom launchers such as this one that made your home screen look so much cleaner. And let's be honest, all those annoying advertisements from Amazon is just not what you want when you're trying to use your streaming device. Now there's been a workaround discovered that allows you to install Wolf Launcher again on your Fire TV devices and today we're going to go through the complete tutorial. Now I do have to say before we get into this that if you do this tutorial your fire tv device your fire stick will not turn off so it will be looped out of sleep mode now that's not a huge deal however some of you might not like the idea of that as well your fire stick actually won't update anymore now don't worry if at any point you want to get rid of this you can simply uninstall the apps and that will allow your fire stick to update again now this tutorial could stop working at any point so if you're watching this video five months from now i apologize but i promise you it's working as of this video. So let's get into it. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and go follow us on Instagram. Okay, so I'm gonna make this tutorial as short and sweet as possible, like I like to do on the channel. So let's just get right into it. Now, I already told you all the warnings before in the introduction. So remember, you're not gonna be able to update your Fire Stick. Of course, this can all be uninstalled. It's really not a big deal. So we have to start by uh, accessing developers mode. I'm gonna move my head here. So I have a little bit more space. We're gonna go to my Fire TV in settings and then go to about. And what you wanna do is click on Fire TV Stick 4K or whatever it says there. It might say Fire TV, it might say Cube, whatever. Click it five times and you will turn into a developer. I'm already one, no big deal, no flex. Now you'll have developers options when you go back one menu. Click on developers options. Now we wanna make sure both of these settings are set. So you need ADB debugging on and apps from unknown sources. So this is step number one. Now that we're done this, we can go ahead and move on to installing the apps we need to get this forever loop working. So now back at your home screen, go ahead and go to your search bar and we need to install an app. And I'm gonna move my head again. Now, most of you will be familiar with this app. It is called Downloader. I'm gonna move my head one more time. We're gonna install Downloader right here. It's a nice bright orange app. You can't miss it. So if you already have it, Perfect, move on to the next step. Now that we have it, we have to go ahead and access the install files directly from my website. So go ahead and click on Downloader. Now, once you're inside Downloader, go to the home section and you wanna to go to the URL right here. Now I have my website set to a shortened URL to make it super easy for you guys. The URL is 773-8820. Okay, that's all it is. Press go. I'm gonna show you what the first thing is you do as soon as you get onto my website. So give it a few seconds, it will load up. So now the first thing you wanna do is go to these three horizontal lines at the top here, and you can go ahead and add this current page to favorites. This will add my download section to your favorites. That way you can access it without having to type the code in or write it down. It just goes to uh, this sidebar right here. Go to favorites, super easy. And I always have useful stuff on here and any future tutorials you guys follow, easy, simple, you'll have it available. So now we wanna scroll down. You're gonna find the Fire Stick app section and you wanna scroll until you find the first one, which is the Fire TV Cube Wolf Launcher. Now this is also uh, the Fire TV Stick, so uh, don't worry that it says Cube, it really doesn't make a difference. You wanna click on that. It'll bring you to this page right here. Scroll down until you find this download button and I've made it simple for you guys, nice and big. Click on it. And we're gonna go ahead and install this first. So just click that install button, boom, done. And we'll just leave it for now. We don't really have to open it up quite yet. And now press that down button. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go back one screen to our previous download section or go to your favorites and access it from there. And now you're gonna see this next app, which is the Fire Stick Launcher Manager, still under the Fire Stick app section. Click on that and this will prompt the download right away. There might be another screen like before, but that depends if I do it or not. So go ahead and install that. So now we can go ahead and open up Launch Manager right away because we need to do a few things inside of it in order to set it up for what we're doing. Now there's a ton of options in here, but I'm gonna keep things short and simple for you guys. Click on Launcher Options at the top. Scroll down until you find Home Button Hook. We wanna click on that right there. And we wanna turn on these two options, home button hook and use ADB for home. Now, the first time you do this, it might crash and close the app. So you just have to go back and repeat this step one more time until both of these say on. I'll show you guys right now. So we just saw the app restart there. We can go back into launcher options, scroll down until you find home button hook one more time. 
And now we want to turn both of these on and it'll just click right away. So it makes it way easier. Now you may have something pop up that says allow USB debugging. If it does, just click always allow and then click OK. You do need to do that. So um, if you're worried about it, don't be. It's not a big deal. So now we want to click back until we get back to our home screen and we want to go back to launcher options and we want to scroll down until we find custom launcher options. Now this is where we're setting up uh, uh, Wolf Launcher. So now click on active launcher and you're going to go ahead and scroll down until you find that Wolf Launcher app that we love so much. So you're going to find it in those W's. Click on that. That will now set that as your custom launcher. But of course, you know, Amazon is blocking that. So it's the app does not work properly. However, we are going to solve that right here. So now in order to test, press that home button and you should see the launcher pop up. Just give it a second. Now you're probably going to have to go and open up Wolf Launcher first. So that's what I went and did since I hadn't do, done that before. Once you have it opened up, then you can go ahead and test it with that home button and that should toggle it between your main home screen and then bring you back to that wolf launcher. However, you guys know this is not going to last forever because of Amazon's constant updates. So now let's go ahead and get into the part where we're actually fixing that. Now we want to go ahead and go back to our launch manager, which should be near the bottom here for you somewhere. So scroll down until you find other settings and then scroll until we find screen savers. Now you want to make sure this sleep timeout is set to zero. Mine already is because it saved the settings from before, but this is very important. So it doesn't go to sleep your device anyways, or the launcher manager. So now this next step is a little trickier. So let me show you guys, because you need to have your phone available. You can do it without your phone. However, you are not going to have a great time. So you're going to want to go to your app store. You can do this on Android or on your, uh, on your uh, uh, iPhone, whichever device you have. I have my iPhone right here. And this is the app you're going to want to get. So it's the Amazon Fire TV app. Now this basically allows you to use your phone as a remote and let me demonstrate here. So when we go back, I have this app, you can open it up and it just logs you into your Amazon account. This is official Amazon app. And then you can easily connect it to your device. So mine's right here, Stanley's Fire TV. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because at the top here, it has a little text option. And this puts a keyboard so you can actually copy and paste text into here and it will go onto your device because there's a big script we actually have to copy and paste into adb debugging now i put that script down below in the description i have it uh marked as copy and paste this and then i have a couple spaces so you guys know exactly what to copy and paste so you can do it from your phone just go to this video on your phone if you're not already and then you'll want to copy and paste copy it and then we'll go and to do that, if you guys don't know, you just hold down on it and that should copy that section. Just press select all or press select and drag. Now from the main menu again in launcher manager, go back to uh, other settings and we want to scroll down until we find ADB commands. Now you want to go to the top right here and you're going to see that plus sign in that corner. Click that plus sign and for your label, it really doesn't matter. I just put like the letter A, it can be whatever. And now once you press next, it will go to enter command. Now this is where we want to take our phone. Don't touch anything on your, on your thing. Make sure you're logged in and it's working on your device. Press that little keyboard and you'll see it's text. I go paste. And then that is the script. So we can go all the way to the left. Now, when we go back to our fire stick, you're going to see that has pasted it directly at the top. So that way it's hundred percent correct. Again, you can do it without, however, it's going to be tedious and there's a bigger chance of mistaking a letter or something. Um, so once that's done, press next. Now this next step is important. You want to press execute on boots and we want to press that save button. So now that we're done, we want to go ahead and click on the script once. So let me show you. I'm hovered over top of the a script right now. I haven't clicked anything yet. Click it once. Nothing is going to happen. Nothing at all. Now we can go ahead and exit and go back. And now you're going to notice, press that home button. Launcher manager is up and it toggles perfectly and works 100%. So it's great. We can access it now. You can use it like normal with all of your apps. And this should also block future updates for now. However, you guys do know that Amazon can block this at any point and they will at some point. So if this video is not working by the time you get to it, I am really sorry. I will do my best to update it as soon as there is another one. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and you're like, hey man, I really want you to teach me more about streaming. Well, a great way to support the channel anyways is to get a VPN through the link down below in the description. Now this will bring you to my dedicated page where you actually get 
three extra months free plus 49% off the 12 month plan. And you also get a 30 day money back guarantee so you can cancel at any point. This has helped me unlock thousands of channels across the world because they're not always available in your country. So if you watch this video right here, you'll see how I use the VPN to access hundreds and hundreds of free channels.